Hey everyone, I'm Brian Mackey, Senior Product Manager for Ensight, and I'm here to give you an update on all the releases we've recently put out in the last few weeks. And we've had lots going on, so lots to tell you about. And of course, I'll start with the big release and launch of Ensight. That's really around bringing together the monitoring and automation of RMM, the full remote access capabilities of Take Control, and the ticketing and billing of MSP Manager into a, a unified solution. We've made several improvements to help with the navigation across those three services as part of Ensight. So it's now easier to jump between those three uh, solutions through the quick links that we've introduced in the platform bar. We also made it a little easier to onboard devices with a new one-click installer. So you'll see now when you log into Ensight at the top of the north pane on the left there, there's a add device button. And this takes you to a very simple two-step wizard. It creates a one-click installer for the client and site that you select and then you just have to run that installer, just click it. And it means you don't have to go through a whole sequence of steps to configure the wizard or to configure the agent. It's easier for end customers if you need them to run that agent, they just click it, it does it itself. And automatically the device will appear for you in the RMM console. We also introduced user synchronization between Nensight, uh, the RMM component and Take Control, so that when you add users, you can now automatically sync them between them. If you go into the Take Control account, there's a setting there on the configurations where you can enable this. And this makes the maintenance of your users much more seamless. And we already have this synchronization between uh, the RMM and MSP Manager portions. So it's now a really a three-way sync of all three solutions within Ensight. In addition, we added one-click provisioning between the three services that constitute Ensight. So it's now very easy to get started with a Take Control trial or an MSP Manager trial. Especially with MSP Manager in the past, you would have to fill in a 10-step wizard, go through lots of complex uh, steps before you could configure an MSP Manager account. Now it's available at just a click. You can test it out, see if it's for you and if it makes sense. We also added the user chat feature, and this is taking advantage of this integration by taking a, the chat feature from Take Control and making this available through RMM. Uh, so you can now jump onto two-way chat sessions. As technicians, you can help your user through whatever issue they're, they're having, resolve that help desk ticket more quickly, or proactively reach out to ask them to reboot their device, or whatever the case may be. You can run multiple chat sessions as well at the same time, so you can multitask your way through a bunch of support tickets if, if that's required. So a real nice feature improvement, one of the most requested enhancements, so we're really pleased that we've been able to release this as part of Ensight. Okay, that's it for Ensight, but that's not everything. We have also released a major update to our Apple support within Ensight. You can now um, use multi-tenancy for the Apple push notification certificates, which means that you can deploy Apple through the Apple Business Manager integration uh, out to your customers seamlessly. You can install the Ensight agent out of the box with all the configurations and feature policy settings that you want it to have. And the end user doesn't have to do anything. They turn on their company-owned MacBook or their iPhone, and it automatically comes preloaded with the uh, Ensight configurations fully managed out of the gate. And as mentioned, that covers MacBook, Mac OS, but also iOS, iPhones, and iPads as well. We have had an update to patch management. Uh, the 2.7 patch management engine was released hardening and performance improvements in that upgrade. We've also steadily been increasing the number of apps that you can patch through a patch management solution with uh, every two or three weeks, more third-party apps that we're supporting. You can follow all these and see what we're updating on the release posts that we put out on the Enable Status blog. And we've introduced some improvements to our monitoring agent. So Insights agent is, um, has a, had a series of releases really focused around reliability, performance um, of some of the main components, our take control agent installation, the monitoring components with the script runner piece. So just hardening, quality of service, reliability, that's really the emphasis behind a lot of those agent upgrades that we're putting out. We will update to the latest GA agent automatically as part of a new deployment process. So we'll ship the GA agents, give you a few weeks to adopt it at your own pace. And after that, we'll push the update out to all endpoints. And we've, we've done that successfully now a couple of times. And it just means all devices are automatically on the latest agent 
uh, within reasonable time periods. So please update to the latest agent uh, at your early convenience to make sure you're also taking advantage of those improvements. Okay, that's it. That's the update for Ensight this time around. As always, you can find out all the information. Just go to the Enable Status blog and look through the release posts for the updates that we're putting out. You can follow us on the YouTube channel where you might well find this video. And in a few weeks time, we'll update you again with the feature improvements we're putting out then. Thanks.